All right, it's not time to get demoralized. It's time to get activated. Yeah, inspired. Time to take it back and we'll do it tonight in a few minutes. Laura Ingraham, a firebrand on Fox News, has captivated audiences for decades. But one aspect of her life that remains shrouded in mystery is her sexuality. In this video, we dive into the reason why this topic continues to spark questions and the complexities surrounding it. While we're at it, consider subscribing to our channel for more in-depth explorations of fascinating figures like Laura Ingraham. Now, back to the topic at hand. Graham's past comments on LGBTQ plus issues are a mixed bag. In a 1997 Washington Post essay, she spoke of changing her views on homosexuality after witnessing the love and resilience of her gay brother Curtis and his partner. However, she has also voiced opposition to same-sex marriage, advocating for civil unions instead. This stance aligns with the Catholic faith and traditional family values which are central to her conservative ideology. The most intriguing wrinkle comes from her personal life. Ingram has never publicly addressed her sexual orientation. She is a single mother of three adopted children. Her past relationships with men like conservative commenter Dines de Souza haven't shed light on the matter either. This silence in the age of LGBTQ plus openness fuels speculation. However, focusing solely on her sexual orientation risks overshadowing Ingram's influence. Her commentary on social and political issues is undeniably impactful. She is a powerful voice for conservatism, a skilled communicator who resonates with millions. Whether you agree with her or not, her ability to shape the national conversation is undeniable. Perhaps the most interesting question isn't whether Laura Ingraham is gay, but how her personal life informs her views on LGBTQ plus issues. Does her experience with her brother influence her stance on civil unions? Has it shaped her approach to discussion about family values? These are questions only she can answer. All in all, Laura Ingraham's sexuality is her own business, but hey, in a world that's all about acceptance, it's kinda natural to be curious about the gap between her personal life and what she says in public, right? This whole thing with Ingraham just shows how our conversation about society are constantly changing. It's like sure, your beliefs are your beliefs but they can also be influenced by who you are as a person. This whole conversation about Laura Ingraham being gay is interesting. We'd love to hear your thoughts on how identity and ideology can play together. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content like this.